everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Cook Like a Japanese channel. I'm Ryo. Today we are making Kohaku Namasu, which is pickled daikon and carrot. We often have this for one of the New Year dishes here in Japan. We believe it's lucky to have red and white at the same time. You know, we got redness of carrot and whiteness of daikon. Anyway, but we also have it for everyday dish like side veggies in bento lunchbox or something like that. To make it super easy and the taste will be super yummy. So why don't you give it a try? Alright, let's get started! Well, the ingredients for kohaku namasu are only two. One is daikon and the other one is carrot. You will be like, if you prepare three inches of daikon, you need one and a half inch of carrot. Just remember the ratio. To one daikon, you need half carrot. Plus, you need one teaspoon of salt to remove excess water from the cut veggies. And for seasonings, you need three tablespoons of rice vinegar, sugar one tablespoon, water one tablespoon, We got three steps to make it. Step number one is to cut veggies. After you peel the skin, cut it into thin matchstick size and put them in a bowl, then sprinkle a teaspoon of salt, give it a nice mix and set it aside for more than 30 minutes. Step number two is to squeeze out the excess water from the veggies with your hands. Step number three is to mix the seasonings and pour it on the squeezed veggies. Give it a nice mix and keep it in your fridge for more than 15 minutes. That's it! Sounds easy, doesn't it? Alright, well, let's go on to step one! Alright, what are we going to step one? Step number one is to cut the veggies. We start up with the uh, daikon. I already rinsed the daikon, so when we peel the skin, you know, you can check how to cut the skin. How to do katsuramuki is on the movie right here or right there. So just check it. And this time, cut it thicker than the usual katsuramuki. Like that. Did you see that? Right, you don't have to throw this skin away. You can use it for miso soup or something like that. And after you peel the skin, cut the full size first. Then you go like, make it thin. Then you go like this. Yeah, you made a thin mud stick. Okay, two more to go. Okay, yeah, now I'm done with the taiko. What are we going to carrot stuff? Alright, what are we going to carrot stuff? I already rinsed the carrots, so peel the skin with the peeler. You don't have to do katsuramuki for this. Yeah, I do the same way, like I did for daikon. But it's all up to you. Do something you feel easier. If it's possible, make it thinner than the daikon. Because carrot is a bit more stiff, hard. So why don't you try making it thinner than the daikon pieces. Right, I finished cutting the uh, carrot. Right, why don't we sprinkle some salt on it and give it a nice mix. Yeah, this is one teaspoon of salt. So why don't you sprinkle it and give it a nice mix. I guess it's mixed, so why don't we set it aside for about 30 minutes. It's the end of step 2. Right, it looks good. Alright, now 30 minutes has passed, so why don't we squeeze the uh, kohaku namas. You know, this is the excess water. Just squeeze it, right, like this. Squeeze it. Yeah, so watery. Okay, squeeze out the excess water. Squeeze it. Squeeze out the water. Right. This is gonna be the last one, I believe. Yeah. 
with excess water like this and cleaning the other bowl. Okay, I'm finished squeezing the cut bases. Look at that! So why don't we go on to step three? Alright, why don't we go on to step three? Step three is to season the kohaku namasu. Start with three tablespoons of rice vinegar. tablespoon of sugar. I don't like it sweet so it's about a half tablespoon but it's okay. Plus, plus I mean one tablespoon of water. That's it. And give it a nice mix. Yeah, it looks nice. So keep it in a fridge for more than 15 minutes. And about 20 minutes has passed since I put this Kohaku namasu in my fridge. Yeah, it looks nice. So why don't we plate it? Right. You know, the redness of carrot and whiteness of daikon is a lucky symbol for Japanese. You can keep the rest of the namasu in your fridge for about a week. Okay, it'll be nice. Yeah, tastes great. Okay, now the uh, kohaku namasu, pickled daikon and carrot is ready to go. Alright, now you know to make kohaku namasu, piku, daikon and carrot, it's pretty easy, isn't it? So why don't you give it a try at your home? Right, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave some message down below and subscribe! Alright, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Take good care, arigato, see you, bye!